That's not going to change. And if anything, it will be, it will grow and grow and grow. And growing at about, uh, some foodstuffs people here, so, but it's going okay, so that's okay. So, 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 right. uh, David touched on this. And YouTube, we've got lots of things on YouTube already. Uh, the social media part, and I think we saw that with Boston, the Boston Marathon. You know, those people have helped track down some people. Those images have helped track down some people. And uh, you can't do too much in private these days. You can't do too much in private. So the news is out there, right? And of course, uh, uh, Facebook, we've got about 120,000 people regularly on Facebook, so we've got quite a lot there. QR codes, interesting, the research says about 40% of people couldn't give a bucket. Couldn't give a bucket. But there's 60% of people are interested in QR codes. But some may not have the technology yet. Who's, who's got a smartphone or a, who's got a smartphone? Hands up, please. Okay, it's a big percentage of the room. Big percentage of the room. And it's only going to get worse. You change your phone nearly every year now. Nearly every year. So QR codes uh, and how they can actually help people uh, is coming. It's a couple of years away, but it's there now for those that are actually technologically savvy. What are we up for? And this is Countdown NZ, right, because Countdown is only in NZ. We're actually about starting to tell some of our fresh stories. And it's something we've been working on now for probably a bit over a year. I've got a couple to show. Uh, we're actually about vertical integration, working with uh, people. It's about Macro 2, which is our premium, which is a gluten-free type product, organic product, which is a premium area, but it's an exclusive product for people that are interested in those products. And of course, quality of our fresh foods, a big opportunity. Supermarket operators, and that's all of us, have got, have got a perception that our product isn't as fresh, uh, and of course, uh, our quality isn't as good. So that's our challenge. Everyone in supermarkets, whether it's in uh, our competitors or ourselves, whether it's in produce or whether it's in meat, whether it's in meat. So uh, that's our challenge, something to keep working on. Um, and of course, emerging categories. For us, uh, we've left one alone in the bulk foods category for some time, but I'll talk about that. Also, it's important for us to work in our industry, and we've been doing that, and you know, that's certainly uh, the glam is there. So that's uh, a couple of years there, we've been doing very well there, so that's good. And it's important for us to be involved in that. This is one of the fresh stories. And tomatoes, um, how many prizes have you got? You got another prize? You got another prize? You can find one? Okay. So, how many varieties of tomatoes do we sell? Eight. Eight. Anyone else got a guess? Who said 12? 12, yep, yeah. okay. Anyone else? Nine. Nine, okay. Back row? One. One. Uh, okay. You can tell this bloke's from the South Island, right? He hasn't got how much. Yeah, okay. It's more than one. It's more than one. Anyone else? Better go and get that prize. It's going to go off soon. Three. Fifteen. Fifteen. Four, five. Five, okay. Fourteen, mate. Fourteen, ah, okay. It's a cheat, so he gets it. you get it, mate. Fourteen. Fourteen. We sell fourteen different types of tomato. Why is that relevant? Right? Because someone thought we sold one. Because a tomato is a tomato. But is a tomato a tomato? Right? And we've got fourteen types of tomatoes basically nearly all year round. Can you value add a tomato? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, <coughs> guy over there, third guy back. This guy here is a cheat, he needs to be kicked out. Okay. <laughs> Let's play that video. Tomato sauce. Tomatoes, however you say it. At Countdown, we have plenty. From loose to low acid, cherry, berry, grape, heirloom truss, and Lyco Plus. Fancy and not so fancy. And because it's summer, and not only in great supply, prices are nice and low. 
Just keep them away from the fridge, and they'll stay as sweet as the day they were picked. New Zealand's best fresh stories always begin with countdown. Okay, so why do I talk about tomatoes? 14 different types. How many varieties of tomatoes are there in the world? We won? Probably a thousand. Yep, over a thousand. Over a thousand. So you can test me out, Google it, whatever you like. I haven't lately, but oh, geez, right, are you just signing on? Okay, very good. Today's. Oh, okay. So, how do we apply that logic to protein? I can't say meat, you know, protein, meat. How do you say that? How do we apply that logic to meat? How do we apply that? And in some ways, we are. In some ways, we are. But I think the tomatoes have got us over us. Macro chicken. The chicken story in this country is a great story. And of course, our growth in this market has been very, very consistent. And we some, see some big opportunities for value-added chicken. Especially, this is where the husbandry, this is where the emotional contact about how is it looked after. Let's play this one. All our macro chicken is raised free in open fields, with a barn to nest in at night, and they're fed natural whole grains such as corn, wheat, and sorghum. Result? Peace of mind for our customers, because they know we stock macro free-range chicken sourced only from accredited farms. So choose macro free-range and whip up a delicious warm chicken and pear salad. Great taste at a good price. No wonder New Zealand's best fresh stories always begin with Countdown. Okay. A great simple story and it's a New Zealand story. New Zealand story. Bakery. This one hasn't been told yet. This one launches on Monday. The ad doesn't launch for another week. So please, the foodstuffs people, just keep that quiet to yourself. This is something different. But again, it's a story about a product. The bakers at Countdown have a tasty surprise for you. A new range of crusty bread. But it's not what they put in. It's what they leave out that really counts. No artificial preservatives, colours or flavours. It's just bread, that's all. Baked fresh each day and exclusive to Countdown. From baguettes to loaves and crusty rolls. Bread, the whole bread, and nothing but the bread. No wonder New Zealand's best fresh stories always begin with Countdown. Okay, so that's actually doing something different. Taking the preservatives out of bread. And uh, not a huge opportunity, but it's an opportunity to put a differentiation. So what you end up with is a crusty bread. We've got about 23 SKUs there that we'll be launching in the next uh, couple of weeks. So it's actually about evaluating, or in this case, of course, taking something out. Taking something out. Does the bread last more than a day? A day's about it. But who actually keeps bread more than a day? Unless you cause freezing. Final video. And this is one we've been working on uh, for some time. And it's out there now. And it's out there now. It's pro it was probably nearly two years in the making. In that the pork story and fresh pork in this country is under some real challenges, apart, certainly from imported pork, frozen or fresh. It's actually making sure we've got a fresh husbandry story and can we build on that. I think there's an opportunity still to build on that. So I think the uh, Patel Farms free farm pork story is a great story. Hi, Brett here. Countdown is always looking for ways to improve the products they sell. So I'm here at Patel Farms in North Canterbury, where Countdown gets its free farm pork from. And to tell me a whole lot more about it is Steve. So Steve, what makes pork free farming? When pigs are free farmed, it means all the pigs are born outside, the distant paddock like you see around us now. So, I mean, what was it about it that made you want to get involved? We were really passionate about wanting to see pigs raised in the most natural way possible. How do you and Countdown ensure the quality of the pork getting to the source? We always make sure that we hand select the pigs that are going to Countdown so they get the very best quality at the very best price. Well now we know a whole lot more about where Countdown's free farm pork comes from. Now let's go and see what we can do with it. Okay, so I was talking to Steve back in August. Okay. To be honest. And of course that goes on to the recipe side of things as well. And I think for the younger consumer, very, very important. And one of the things I think we can really thank as retailers is some of these cooking shows. 
cooking shows have got young people excited about cooking, which is absolutely fantastic. And I think some of the stories I've heard through the MasterChef Association have been absolutely fantastic. So I think that the whole cooking explosion or re-explosion has an opportunity for us, for those younger people. There's still that opportunity, probably 15 to 35. We've still got a gap. We've got a real gap. We've got a real challenge. We've got to keep working on that. Again, an industry, industry challenge. The consumer's looking for new things. And in a world that's changing, especially with technology, people are expecting new things on the technology stakes and change very, very quickly. New products, you know, we have three and a half thousand last year. We're still looking for more, it's actually less. And globalisation has actually stifled innovation. Innovation has actually reduced, uh, it hasn't increased. Right, so globalisation has just brought everything back to commodities. Yes, commodities. And whether it's iron ore, whether it's coal, whether it's lamb, whether it's corn, commodities. We want to work out what are commodities, how can we value add, and how can we value add by our own region. So I think something new is important for the New Zealand customer. For us, we're putting in new categories, health and beauty working on that. We just opened some pharmacies, uh, bulk foods we went out of for a number of years. The customers told us we were mad. We finally listened to them. And of course, just little things like sunglasses, little twists like that, sunglasses through summer, picked up some extra dollars, some extra GP. Really, my message is around, we are in a global economy. We have...